give God the glory for today's meeting. We thank Him for another privilege to be in His presence. We are grateful for His blessings over our lives. We're grateful for His mercies. And I just want us to begin the meeting today with giving God the praise and say, God, we thank you. Oh Lord, we thank you. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your mercies. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for what you're doing in our lives. We give him all the glory. We give him all the praise. It is by the lost mercies that we are not consumed. We thank him for him drawing us to a place of prayer, to a place of um, worship, a place of intimacy with God. Let's give him all the glory. Let's appreciate him. Let's give him all the glory. Say, Father, we say thank you. 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 The psalmist says, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, now may Israel say, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, then they had swallowed us up quick. Ah, the proud waters would have gone over us. He said, Blessed be the Lord who has not given us as a prey unto the teeth. Let's give him all the glory. Let's worship him for how he has delivered us from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence, evil and marauding marauders uh, all over the place. But the Lord has preserved us. The mercy of the Lord has preserved us. The goodness of the Lord has preserved us. Let's give him all the glory. Let's give him all the praise. Say, Jesus, we say thank you. 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 Thank you, Jesus. 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 Jesus, we say thank you. We say thank you for your goodness. We say thank you for your mercies. We say thank you for your supplies. We say thank you for your provisions. We say thank you. Jesus, we say thank you. Jesus, we say thank you. Jesus, we say thank you. Let's give him all the glory for the privilege of worshiping before his presence for the heart that is drawn to know the Lord. Our hearts are drawn to know the Lord. The psalmist says, incline my heart to fear thy name. This is what the Lord is doing for us, is inclining our heart to the presence of the Lord. The psalmist says, when thou said, seek my, seek my face, he said, my soul said unto you, um, I said unto you, thy face, Lord, will I seek. Thy face, Lord, will I seek. He says, One thing have I desired of the Lord, and that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord. That is where I get my passion. That is where I get my satisfaction. That is where I get my ambition. That is where I get everything, everything, everything that gives me, that makes me complete, that gives me fulfillment, is in the presence of the Lord. Jesus, we say thank you because of your presence. We say thank you because you have not withdrawn your presence from us. Jesus, we say thank you because of the, the leanings of our spirit to come into your presence by the mighty workings of God. Jesus, we say thank you. Jesus, we say thank you. We say thank you. We are grateful, O oh God. We are grateful, O oh God. We are grateful. We are grateful. We are grateful. We are grateful. We are grateful, O oh God. We are grateful, O oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let's give him all the glory for the meetings and the mighty things the Lord has been doing in our lives. For the stirrings of the Spirit of God upon our hearts, the, 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 the move of God, the opening of our eyes of understanding. Come, um, I would say for some weeks now the meetings have been going on and the Lord have handled various issues and various matters with us in the place of prayer. 
We are grateful to God for His goodness. We're grateful to God for His revelation. We're grateful to God for the consistency of His word. We are grateful to God for the consistency of His purpose. Jesus, we say thank you. 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 We're grateful to God for the visitation, how the Lord is committed, how the Lord is committed to, to, to seeing us through, how the Lord is committed to ensuring that we are complete in Him. Jesus, we say thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. There is one thing I want us to quickly pray unto God before we go into the um, full prayers for today is that it's, it's one prayer i found very very interesting and i've prayed it for several years now um this is that the investment of god of, upon my life will not be in vain uh, day by day in the book of jeremiah the lord was telling the children of israel he says i send my prophets unto you day by day rising up early and sending them he said but you would not he gave them counsel he gave them counsel he gave them instruction he gave them status he gave them commandments but they would not they would not therefore they went into captivity it's a very very serious prayer I would I, 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 I want you to pray this prayer as literal as it sounds Lord your investment over my life will not be in vain your investment over my life oh God will not be in vain open your mouth and cry unto God the investment of heaven over your life the daily instructions the daily guidance it is for an hand. It says, I know the thoughts that I think towards you. They are thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected hand. There is an expected hand. God is not haphazard in his operation. God is not visionless in his operation. God is not... Um, it doesn't work arbitrarily without having any focus without having any destination he has something he wants to accomplish through your life he wants to bring out a masterpiece he wants to bring out a, a an edifice that that will glory that is fit for the king that will bring glory to the king when the when the clothes of the priests were being made were made in in the old testament he say it was for glory and for virtue for glory and for virtue so there is a purpose that god has in mind with these meetings it might be through this prayer meeting it might be through other platforms but these are investments of heaven that the lord is releasing upon your life is releasing the the, the visions the, the bible says um in in the dream in the visions of the night the lord brings his word his cancer you see that he may withdraw man from his pride and that he might make them to understand his purposes but in the lives of very many people the investment of god goes down the drain which is very unfortunate and you want to pray that you will not be part of this number that you will not be part of this number and i will not be part of this number the investment of god over my life will not be in vain the investment of god over my life will not be in vain in jesus name we pray in jesus name we pray he say the investment of god over my life will not be in vain it's a very very critical point point which um you see the, the way i do my prayer when i find very very critical points i can pray them for years and not forget so you just make it as a routine prayer at any stage in your life that oh god your investment over my life will not be in vain Oh God, your investment over my life will not be in vain. It's a very, very important prayer. If you look at the, the story of, of, of the three servants that were given um, various talents, uh, um, 
yeah they were giving various um, amount of money rather they were giving various amount of money one was given five pounds another one was given two pounds another one was given one and yeah the, the, you could make it synonymous as those are the talents that were given to them you can compare that to the investment of heaven over the lives of these people we may not god may not have equally invested in every one of us but there is an investment nonetheless in everyone and god did not rebuke the second person because he did not get up to the first person what god is looking for is what you have done with the talent with the gifting with the opportunities with the 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 revelations the insight the understanding that he has given unto you and that last servant said i was afraid and i went and hid his talent and wrapped it in a napkin and the king was wrought with him another very good example is in the book of um, corinthians this one is a very um, dear prayer to me because is something I have encountered very, very personally. In First Corinthians chapter ten, verse one, it says, "Moreover, brethren, I would not that ye should be ignorant." One of the key things that makes the investment of heaven to be in vain in a life is ignorance. Many people are not aware of the investment of heaven what has been committed into their hands the bible says unto whom much is given much is expected i would not that ye should be ignorant can we just quickly pray lord take away every ignorance from me take away every ignorance from my spirit Take away every ignorance. Make me to see. Make me to know. Make me to understand. This is a very key weapon in the hand of darkness, in the hand of the devil. When they get, the Bible says this, the 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 the, the son defied nothing from a slave, though he be lord of all as long as he is a child as long as he is a child he does not differ from his slave he has not come to the place of understanding he has not come to the place of maturity to be able to understand what has been committed into his hands you want to cry on to god to take away every form of ignorance to take away every form of every form of misunderstanding sometimes you have not properly understood he says moreover brethren i will not that ye should be ignorant how that all our fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea this is a very very critical verse of the scripture and i want us to look at it to have a deeper understanding of this passage and were all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea and did all heat of the same spiritual meat and did all drink the same spiritual drink hmm. for they drank of that spiritual rock that fo- that followed them and that rock was Christ verse 5 that's where I'm going but with many of them God was not well pleased despite partaking in the miracles with many of them God was not well pleased despite singing when they came out of the land of Egypt and crossed the Red Sea the Bible says that they sang 
Miriam, Miriam, and the, and the women with tablets, they sang, Moses sang, Aaron sang, all of the fathers that were baptized in the sea, they sang, they saw the bitter water at Mara become sweet, they saw manna and ate of that every day, that is the spiritual food, they murmured and God sent them quails. The murmured and God brought water out of the rock. But with many of them, God was not well placed. I find this very, very amusing and very, very intriguing that God can give a generation miracle and yet not be pleased with them. God can answer a man's prayer and yet not be pleased with that man. This is a very, very frightening scenario. It says with many of them, God was not well pleased. The Bible says he gave them their heart desire and then he sent leanness into their soul. So the, 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 the generation of people who say that the end justifies the means, so long as you have what you're looking for, it means you got the approval of heaven. Not exactly so, my friend. Not exactly so. Not exactly so. The hand does not justify the means in the kingdom of heaven. The means should justify the hand. The head of the same spiritual food. They drank of the same spiritual rock, um, water out of the rock. They were baptized unto Moses. They passed through the cloud, the pillar of cloud by day, the pillar of fire by night. And they passed through the sea. And with many of them, God was not well pleased. That's a very frightening situation. When we're praying that the investment of God should not be in vain in our lives. That what God has invested upon us, God has gone to great lengths to bring you, to preserve you alive up to this point for a particular purpose. What is the purpose of that investment? What is the purpose of God fighting your battles? What is the purpose when you, you faced a near-death situation and God intervened and delivered you? What is the purpose? To what hand was that deliverance? Why is God bringing the prophets, bringing prayer meetings, bringing opportunities across your way that you should partake of these activities? What is the purpose? Why is God investing these things? He says, but with many of them, God was not well pleased. And see the outcome. He says, for they were overthrown in the wilderness. So many of them, God gave them the miracles and still overthrew them. God gave them their heart desire and they still perished. God gave them what they sought after. He said, give me this, like something. Get her for me, she pleased me well. And yet they were overthrown. I don't want to be overthrown after getting miracles. I don't want to be overthrown after seeing signs and wonders. Therefore, I'm asking the Lord, what is your investment over my life? What is that power that wants that investment to be a waste? What is that power that wants that investment to end up in me being overthrown? Let those powers, let those forces be wasted for my life. Your investment over my life will not be in vain, O God. Your investment of God, over my life will not be in vain, O God. Your investment over my life will not be in vain. Your investment over my life will not be in vain. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. I want you to put in the chat, I receive wisdom. 
Say, I receive wisdom. I receive wisdom. I receive wisdom. I receive wisdom. One of the key things that we need in this journey is to receive wisdom. Wisdom and discernment. Perhaps we had that to that. Wisdom and discernment. 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 Let's look at the book of Ephesians. Hmm. I'm not quite sure why God is leading us down this path today, but um, this is really um, something interesting. And um, I want us to really focus and, and, and get the best out of these meetings. Hmm. Hmm. Ephesians. When we receive discernment, we can know what the will of the Lord is. We can understand what the purpose of God is. But with wisdom, but with wisdom, we know how to carry out that purpose. We know how to follow through on that purpose. Hmm. Ephesians chapter 5 Ephesians chapter 5 verse 17 it says wherefore be ye not unwise but understanding what the will of the Lord is don't be foolish he put it in a very kind mature tone don't be unwise in other words the person who does not understand what the will of God is is unwise isn't that a frightening criteria as you pick random sampling out of about 8 billion people across the world how many people can say they understand what the will of the Lord is overall is will and part time is will therefore we can infer how many people are unwise it says be ye not unwise my brother my sister be ye not unwise but understand discern what the will of the lord is what is the purpose of god over these meetings what does god want to achieve where does god want to take you this i think is a very very critical point which i want to pray on god give me wisdom and discernment i need both wisdom and need discernment i need both wisdom and discernment i want to know what the will of the lord is and i need the wisdom to give me that understanding on how to carry out that will on how to carry out that purpose give me wisdom oh god give me wisdom oh god don't let me lack in wisdom in the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah to the lord god it is done it is done hallelujah take time out to pray these prayers i never stop praying for wisdom i never stop praying for wisdom for those who know me I prayed for wisdom every day for many years it was surprising but literally I did it every day every day give me wisdom give me wisdom give me wisdom oh god 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 it's a very very critical prayer and you need to pray it as well We'll go back to our series isaiah chapter 45 
we have um, undo the first um, part in a that's part one and part two looking at the anointing and as I did say um, on, on the group that we're going to make these meetings available by the grace of God they're all recorded we're going to make them available and if you want to take any of the series and you just want to stretch any of the series to pray on it and follow the sequence they're going to be available by the grace of God we're done with that and if you still need to pray those prayers then by all means continue Isaiah 45 Thus see the Lord to his anointed to Cyrus the anointed is not anonymous <laughs> you find someone they say you are anointed the moment the anointing comes upon your head anonymity disappears the moment the anointing comes upon your head you cannot remain anonymous when David stood to go and face Goliath the first question that Saul asked was who is his father where is he coming from wow this is something very powerful does hear the Lord unto Cyrus unto his anointed the next thing that follows is the name who is the anointed who is the anointed you can remain anonymous before the anointing comes upon your head so if you see people who say come on nobody knows me I'm just anonymous maybe they're just lacking in the anointing once the anointing comes upon your head this anointing in this measure that we have studied in the last two weeks when this anointing comes upon your head you cannot remain anonymous you cannot remain anonymous hmm. hallelujah in first samuel chapter 17 1 Samuel chapter 17 I'll just pick up I'll just pick up the passage um, the, the, the particular um, verse where Saul himself was asking who is the father of David That who is the father of David? Hmm. Yeah. In verse 55. And when Saul saw David go forth against the Philistine, he said unto Abner, the captain of the host, Abner, whose son is this youth? <laughs> whose son? Is this youth people will begin to inquire who is this fellow by the way who is this person that has come after the manner of the anointed one Christ himself whose son is this youth and Abner said as thy soul liveth O king I cannot tell you see you see you see something here the king does not know the anointed one but there is an anointing he says to his chief of family staff who is this fellow the man says i don't know did he stop there and the king said inquire thou people will begin to make inquiry 
about you as soon as the anointing comes upon your head thus saith the Lord to his anointed to Emmanuel to Cyrus put your name as soon as you carry this anointing questions will begin to rise is Saul also among the prophets you cannot continue to remain anonymous once the anointing rests upon your head this could take us into praying for the anointing again and to be honest we cannot exhaust praying for the anointing but we need to move forward whose right hand I have ordered anointed one let it be known unto you that with all your anointing you need the chief Christ himself to hold your hand with all our anointing we are as frail and feeble if he does not hold our hands whose right hand I have holding if you want the nations to be subdued if you want the kingdoms to be subdued the Lord must hold your right hand whose right hand I have holding to subdue nations before him nations are not going to submit themselves nations are not going to just bow before you if the lord does not hold your right hand so we are looking at the various ingredients that must be present for you to carry the isaiah 45 dimension these are the things that must be incorporated in your journey number one you carry the anointing number two is you need the lord to hold your right hand Because you are going to meet nations that are fiercer and that are bigger than yourself. The Lord said unto Jeremiah, he said, don't be afraid. You are going to face nations. But I will make your face like an adamant, harder than a flint. He said, they will fight against you, but they shall not prevail. And they really did fight against jeremiah but in the end when they went into captivity jeremiah was given the freedom so they fought against jeremiah but they did not prevail there is a dimension of oppression where we need the lord to hold our right hand you may think oh i'm quite familiar with the roots I know that if I had one and two and three and four together, it would give me this particular result. Why am I so confident? Because this person has done the same thing, it has worked. In fact, a thousand people have done that same, gone through that same formula and it has worked. Therefore, I am very, very certain that it will work for me. Might just well be wrong. You need the Lord to hold your right hand. That is what you want to cry on to go today. Hold my hand, O God. As I journey towards this, this future that you have destined for me, I want you to hold my right hand. I want you to hold me up. I don't want to fall. There is a place that a man stands and except he is held up by the supernatural power of God, it will fall. The psalmist says, Thou hast enlarged my feet, my, my, my footsteps on them so that I did not sleep and fall. The ease of a people, he said, let their way be dark and slippery. The path where we're going is a path where is filled with all manner of traps and all manner of evil. It's very slimy and the, the, the devil has set a lot of trap for people to fall. That is why you are crying to God, Lord, hold my hands, O God. I don't want to fall. I may carry the anointing, 
but we have seen anointed people fall. The Bible says of Saul that his shield was vilely cast away as though he was not anointed with oil. So there is a possibility that a man can be anointed and still fall. We have seen very, very anointed people both in the Bible and in contemporary times fall away. They have fall away, falling away for demons has forsaken him having loved this present world and is departed into Thessalonica. There are people who suddenly turned and they say no way the galatians the galatians believers he say who has bewitched you that ye should not obey the truth anymore you started in the spirit do you want to continue with the flesh how do you think you will be perfected in the flesh you want to cry unto god hold my hands oh god hold my hands oh god hold my hands oh god hold me up oh god i don't want to fall i don't want to sleep the road is narrow the the, the road is is, is, is quite a dangerous one is filled with so many unknown uh, the, 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 the children of Israel when they were praying Moses was saying he said ye have not gone this way either to fall you have not passed this way the path that is before you you have not gone before you can only look up to Jesus the Bible says looking unto Jesus the author and the finish of our faith you want to cry unto God Lord hold my hands hold my hands hold my hands as I pursue the anointing as I am seeking the anointing I want you to hold my hands so God, I want you to hold my hand so God, hold my hand so God, hold my hand so God, and don't let me fall, and don't let me fall, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, if we look at the book of Isaiah chapter 41, hmm. whose right hand I have holding, you want to have results, outstanding results, you need the Lord to hold your hands, Isaiah chapter 41 in verse 13. Isaiah chapter 41 in verse 13. It says, For I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand. This is a promise and a covenant to someone. That I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand and i will say unto thee fear not when you look at the magnitude of what the lord has destined you to accomplish your mind can quake or sink in despair if the lord is sending you to kings to presidents, to princes, to kingdoms, to territories. And you look at those territories. You see, these are pagan territories. These are people who worship all manner of idols. Do you mean this is where you're sending me to? You say, that's right. Wherever the sole of your feet shall tread upon, I have given it unto you for a possession. And he says, go look round about look at the stars tell them can you number them it says so shall your seed be for multitude and then you see do you mean this is real you can almost doubt god like sarah it says fear not for high will hold thy right hand fear not thou warm jacob feeble warm jacob and ye men of israel i will help thee i will help thee i will help thee said the lord and thy redeemer the holy one of israel he says behold i will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument having teeth and thou shalt thresh the mountains so you will not continually be helpless you will not continually be helpless you would 
be a sharp threshing instrument having teeth. Hallelujah. You want to pray unto God? I need the help from above. I need you to hold my right hand. Here is my hand, O God. Hold my right hand. 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 I need you to hold me, O God. I cannot join you. I cannot join you on my own. I want you to hold my hands, O God. I want you to hold my hands, O God. Hold my hands, O God. Hold me up, O God. Hold me up, O God. In the name of Jesus. Thus hear the Lord unto his anointed. Thus hear the Lord unto his anointed. Thus hear the Lord unto his anointed. I need to hold your right hand. You, you may be anointed, but you still need guidance. You may be anointed, but you still need deliverance. You may be anointed, but you still need preservation. You may be anointed, but you still need protection. You may be anointed, but you still need the help of God. The help of God. Therefore, you are crying to God, Lord, here is my heart. Here is my heart. I cannot journey on my own. I cannot subdue nations on my own. I cannot make the crooked places straight on my own. Hold my hands, O God. Hold my hands, O God. Hold my hands, O God. Hold me up by your mighty power. He says, whose right hand I have holden. Whose right hand I have holden. This tells you that there is a supernatural intervention to your physical results. No matter how outstanding your results are, no matter how great the results are, and people are saying this is the voice of a God and not a man, remember to let them know that it is God who is holding your right hand. And if for any reason it does leave that right hand alone, we become as men men. We become as mortals, we become as weak men, we become as feeble men. When when Job was the richest man in the East and the Lord made that edge around him, all of his prayers were, were being answered. It was as if Job was the only one that knew how to transact business in the East. But as soon as that edge was taken away, as soon as the, the heavenly protection was taken away, Job became as weak, as weak, weaker, weaker than even the beggar in the street. He lost everything his heart because that edge was taken away. The adversary, the devil, is constantly looking for opportunities to make that protection of heaven to be taken away therefore you have to cry to god always oh god i am focused on you oh god do not leave me alone do not leave me alone oh god do not leave me alone oh god hold my hands hold my hands i tell you these prayers are very very foundational prayers these prayers are very very foundational prayers that you need to pray in the time when the Lord is breaking in pieces the gates of brass when the Lord is cutting asunder the bars of iron when the Lord is subduing the nations when the Lord is giving you the riches of the Gentiles it may be filled with so much excitement but this is the bedrock of that manifestation whose right hand I have holding. Cyrus, you may be the anointed, but if the Lord does not hold your right hand, you will perish with the anointing. Cyrus, you may be no more anonymous, 
but you will not be the first if he, 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 he will not be the first anonymous person um, you will not be the first anointed person to perish Saul the first king of Israel he perished even though he was anointed with oil so having the anointing is not enough you need God to hold your right hand Lord, I commit myself into you, unto you today. Hold me up by your mighty power. Hold me up by your mighty power. Hold me up by your mighty power. I want to see great result. I want to see great manifestation. I want to see great breakthrough in my life i want to break through territories but i need you to hold my right hand i want to break through territories but i need you to hold my right hand i want to break through nations but i need you to hold my right hand i want to break through every barrier and shatter every 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 um, embargo or every limitations that have been set but i need you to hold my right hand except you hold me except you lead me except you guide me i cannot do it on my own i cannot do it on my own i cannot achieve this result on my own i want you to hold my right hand i want you to hold my right hand open your mouth and cry unto god this is a very very critical point this is a very very critical point and i want us to really pray god hold me up by your mighty power don't let me sleep don't let me sleep don't let me fall into the trap of pride don't let me fall into the trap of self don't let me fall into the trap of 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 lust don't let me fall into the trap you what are the peculiar traps the adversary as 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 found that you are highly susceptible to these are the kind of things you have to table before heaven if your own is the scene of fornication if your own is the scene of adultery if your own is the scene of pride if your own is the scene of pornography if your own is the scene of overconfidence if your own is the scene of of complacency if your own is the scene of 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 laziness and if your own is whatever trap that the adversary have found you to be highly susceptible to that's what is going to set for you and you need go to hold your hand it's like walking through a minefield walking through a minefield or walking through slimy pits a, 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 a road filled with slimy pits and then you say go hold my hand i have not gone this way before i do not claim to know everything i do not claim that i can go by myself i cannot do this thing by myself oh god i want you to take over that song say jesus take the wheels jesus take the wheels take it from my hand jesus take the wheels i cannot drive i need you to be the driver i need you to hold my hands 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 I need you to hold my hands. I need you to hold my hands, oh God. Hold my right hand. 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 Hold my right hand, oh God. Hold my right hand, oh God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hold my right hand. Hold my right hand. Hold my right hand. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hold my right hand. Hold my right hand. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hold my right hand, oh God. Hold my right hand, oh God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. And seek the face of God.
Are you seeking the face of God? Are you seeking the face of God? Lord, I want you to hold my hand. I want you to hold my hand. The journey before the journey before you is such a, an incredible one. That's why we prayed for discernment, understanding what the will of the Lord is. Understanding what the will of the Lord is. Once you understand that great will, then you will know that this journey is quite an enormous one. And then you cry to God. That you hold my hand. say thank you Jesus we say thank you Jesus we say thank you we say thank you for your word we say thank you for this solemn hour we understand that the anointing brings with it Popularity, the anointing brings with it assignment, responsibility, activity. The anointing brings with it motion. The anointing brings with it dominion. But we have seen many anointed men fall. We have seen many anointed generals fall. Many anointed kings, they are falling. They are va- they are, they, they are shield, their soul was vilely cast away as though they were not anointed with oil. The anointing became rubbish in the end because there was a disconnection between God holding their hands. At some point, like Uzziah, they were mightily helped of God until they became strong. And therefore they thought that they could offer sacrifices that was meant for the priest to do. This is a very, very serious situation. And we're crying to you that you will hold our right hand. We cannot journey on our own. We cannot subdue nations on our own. That no matter what level we get to, even Herod, the point where they ascribe unto him the status of a God, the angel smote him and he was eating of worms and he gave up the ghosts. Mighty king, anointed great king was eating of worms father we ask you will hold our right hand 
to teach us the mystery you will hold our right hand to guide us step by step along the way you will hold our right hand oh father we ask for your mercy we ask for your mercy that should we fail in discerning your will let your mercy still lead us let your mercy still guide us let your mercy let your mercy prevail oh heavenly father we cry for mercy we cry for mercy oh god let your mercy prevail let your mercy prevail should we fail in following your purpose should we fail oh god in discerning on time should we fail should we uh, should these hearts at any time be lifted up let mercy prevail and lead us gently lead us gently the psalmist say lead me in the plain path because of my enemies he say rebuke me not oh god in your hunger rebuke me in your love your loving kindness father let your mercy prevail we ask oh god that we receive help from heaven in the name of jesus as we continue in this series and as we seek your face we pray you will speak unto us and oh god we pray that this walk will be a deep-seated one that not the flesh or the devil or the world can approach in the name of jesus thank you holy spirit thank you father in jesus name we pray amen praise the lord we bless the lord for another time um today's been a rather sober meeting um because the lord is keen that these meetings don't just come and go without achieving anything the lord is investing investing and investing day by day the spirit of the lord is investing and as we have prayed we believe the investment of god will not be in vain in the name of jesus and our right hand the lord will hold and it will guide us by his mighty power in the name of jesus so um the, the next meeting will be on saturday we would revert um, to the usual routine um on saturday by 8 p.m we'll have the next meeting by the grace of god we would continue in the series and i want you to come as well you're gonna be blessed um and the lord is going to do you good in the name of jesus thank you thank you um that would be the end of today's meeting um I'll see you on Saturday. Thank you so much.